Today we're going to be changing the stock air intake on my Lexus IS from the stock intake with an F-Sport filter to this in-gen air intake. And the aftermarket intake sounds so much better. and welcome back to another episode of JDM for All. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you haven't already, please do not forget to like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And today's video is about my 3IS. This is my 2016 Lexus IS and we're going to be installing an intake on my Lexus. I'm definitely excited about this guys. I've been waiting for a couple days, a few days, and it has finally arrived. So it's time to make an install video. And as you can see right here, I have an engine technology intake. Looks like a really good quality intake. I've had really cheap intakes and pretty nice intakes. This one actually looks really nice. It looks like it's good quality. Uh, we have the filter, we have the intake pipe, um, it looks like there is a uh, heat shield inside of here and yeah, it looks really nice and it has this little badge right here. It's not even a sticker. So that's actually pretty cool. I am definitely excited to install this guys. I'm probably going to go to a car meet after this um, and uh, yeah, test out my brand new intake. And the first step that we're going to do is pop the hood and get started. All right guys, the hood is popped. It's time to get started. First thing I'm going to do is unplug the battery and then I'm going to unscrew this screw, take off this clamp, unscrew this one. There's a bolt right here as well, um, right there. And then I'm going to take off this sensor and then I'll probably start working on this uh, air box. I believe it looks like the harness does uh, connect to the air box right here and I think it does down there as well. So I'm going to get that started right now. Okay, so the stock intake box is removed. Now it's time to install the intake, the fun part. We're about halfway done, but the rest of it is pretty fun. And I should mention that this wiring harness is connected to the stock air box. So you wanna remove these before you start pulling out the stock air box, because you will probably pull on this if, uh, if you didn't know that this was actually connected to it. So I did install the sensor right when I removed it from the stock air box. And this is what it looks like, guys. It's going to look great. Check that out. Super cool. Um, yeah, it's time to start installing the rest. All right, so we just installed this little uh, seal, rubber seal right there, one inside where the intake uh, pipe is going to rest and one down here. Now I'm going to uh, remove this bolt right here on the reservoir and the bolt on the right down there. And those are where it is going to sit, where the uh, heat shield's going to sit, right here and right there. So I'm going to remove those and then install it right in there. All right, so now I have that bolt in on the reservoir and I have that bottom bolt down there on the right um, installed. The intake pipe is mostly installed. I do have to mount it right there. Uh, screw this, uh, well, screw these clamps on and put on that clamp right there and 
plug in the sensor and I'll basically be done. Oh, and uh, install the filter, but the heat shield is in now. And now the intake is looking great. All I have to do is a couple more steps and we'll be done. All right guys, and it is done. It is looking great. Check that out. So it says tuned engine technology super nano web. Apparently this filter is a uh, super nano web. It doesn't take any oil and to clean it, apparently you just spray it out. I don't know, I'm gonna have to read more into that. All I have to do is put the engine cover back on and tighten up the battery again. Everything is tightened and down. Looking great guys, it's actually not completely done, but it looks great guys, it's mostly done. And check out my car now guys. Wow, it looks amazing. This car, I am in love with this car, I just love it. It is amazing and it looks so mean. I can't wait to see what difference this intake makes, guys. I'm going to be making a future video letting you guys know what this intake sounds like and how my car drives with the intake. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for making it this far. If you guys haven't already, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video.